Tukogi State, where its governor, Yahaya Bello, on Tuesday said that the fear of coronavirus kills faster than the virus itself. According to him, a virus that has killed 510,909 people worldwide as of Tuesday was imported, it was an imported illness that was forced on the people to shorten their lifespan. The governor disagreed with the Nigeria Center for Disease Control over the death of the state chief judge, Justice Nasir Ajana. Ajana died on Sunday at Gwagwalada COVID-19 Isolation Center. His interment, which took place at Gudu Cemetery Abuja, was also conducted in compliance with the COVID-19 burial protocol set by the NCDC. Bello had accused the NCDC of making up numbers that were neither correct nor emanated from the state. Now, speaking at the third day prayer for the late chief judge on Tuesday, he urged the people not to give in to fear. He described the COVID-19 as worse than banditry, insurgency and genocide put together, adding that it was artificial, but unfortunately sold to Nigerians. Well, we are now joined by Kogi State Commissioner for Information, Commissioner Kingsley Fawo. Uh, good to have you, Honorable Commissioner. Thank you very much. Now, is the governor quoted out of context when he said that COVID-19 is a hoax, or he means it in its entirety? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, he was not quoted out of context. Uh, he's the leader of a generation. So when he talks about something, uh, he understands uh, perfectly what uh, he was talking about. So help us clarify it when you say that it is a hoax. Even according to him, he mentioned, you know, the numbers of people, the number of people that have died. We've seen figures in Nigeria. We are, at, we are over 25,000 confirmed cases in Nigeria. You know, and we've seen people, we have the figures of those who have died. How come a sitting governor is still saying that it is a hoax? Help us understand what he means. Uh, he has explained this on several occasions uh, at different fora to the entire world, both national and international. Uh, and I think um, uh, we should not be here again uh, repeating all the things uh, he had said. Uh, he made his comments yesterday uh, during the Torve prayer of the late Chief Justice of uh, Kogi State, uh, Justice Nasir Rajana. And uh, he told the people of the state, as the leader of the state, you need to instill a lot of confidence in the citizenry and he told them to go about their normal business but observe public and private health protocols and that he was very sure uh, that the late uh, Nasir Rajana did not die of COVID-19. Uh, he's the chief executive of the state and uh, he has a lot of information that uh, many of us uh, and many people around the country uh, might not have. So he, underst he understands perfectly uh, what he was talking about. Uh, we are not going clear? to be drawn into the controversy uh, of uh, what, what actually uh, killed uh, uh, Justice uh, Nasir Rajana. Uh, he's a very respected Nigerian and a respected Kogi Kogite. So uh, he, we would continue to respect him even, even in death. So we would not want to um, diminish his importance uh, by, by enmeshing our serving uh, in controversies as to what uh, caused his death. But the governor said it categorically uh, that he did not die of COVID-19. Now, what are the issues the government of Kogi State is having with the National Center for Disease Control going with the disagreements between the state government and the NCDC? Uh, we, we are not having um, issues with them. What, we, uh, what we've been uh, talking about is the issue of demarketing COVID-19. Uh, we cannot kill our economy and then put panic and fear uh, in our people and, um, and allow them to die uh, untimely just because we are fighting uh, a pandemic that has killed uh, less people than lesser fever, that has killed less people than malaria, that has killed less people than many ailments uh, around the world. So it's not, a, it's not a disagreement, so to say. We are also observing public and private health protocols in the state. We are ensuring social distancing and we're ensuring that our people are safe. Uh, the only difference here is that uh, we noticed that they were held bent on ensuring that all states of the Federation uh, declare cases of COVID-19. Uh, we do not understand why they want all the states uh, across the nation to have COVID-19. Uh, as far as we are concerned, all the cases declared so far in COVID-19 are fake, 
are false, are unacceptable. So as far as we are concerned, there is no COVID-19 in Kogi State. It is either we are doing what we are supposed to do or because uh, the pandemic is not uh, as serious and as endemic as they would want us to, to believe. I am concerned, Honorable Commissioner, that if we, uh, the way it's been uh, communicated to the people, if you say there is no COVID-19, isn't it trivializing the seriousness of this pandemic? We've seen a state struggling to convince the people to be able to follow the protocol in order uh, to stop the spread of this pandemic. So if that's your position, how do you reconcile it in such a way that the people of Kogi State understands the seriousness of COVID-19 without trivializing it as it were? <laughs> We are, not in, we are not in any way trivializing uh, COVID-19 uh, cases in the states. We are doing our best to sensitize our people, to educate our people, uh, to let them know uh, that uh, though there is COVID-19, but it won't stop them from, uh, 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 from their livelihood. So we, we are not trivializing it at all. We are sensitizing our people. And if you check uh, the progressive governor's uh, report of uh, May, uh, we, were, we were the best in terms of sensitization, uh, in terms of judiciary and sensitization. So it shows we are doing something very correctly. And that is why uh, we don't have any case, uh, as far as we are concerned, uh, regardless of uh, the, the figures being bandied about by the NCDC. What, what's the feel? What's the uh, feel, the atmosphere in Kogi State as at today? The atmosphere in Kogi State is uh, that of confidence, uh, that of faith in our government. And uh, the governor, the leader of the state, is leading from the front. And he has told his people that they have nothing to fear about the pandemic. So if you come to Lokoja this morning, you see uh, a capital city that is bubbling. If you go to Kaba, Ida, Aingba, you know, we are going about our normal businesses. It are is not, not affecting us. We are not, we are not having strange uh, uh, death cases in the state. So it's, it's something that is strange to NCDC. So they are trying every, uh, everything humanly possible uh, to ensure that anybody uh, who dies in the state is said to be having COVID-19. It is quite unfortunate. Uh, the, the governor is leading from the front. We are going about our normal business and we are ensuring that our people have the confidence and faith in their own governments. We will leave it at that, uh, Honourable Commissioner Kinsley Farmer. For uh, thank you very much for your thoughts, and we will say keep sa uh, safe out there, you and your people as well.